Hi Northwest Church friends, it's Miss Dianca here and I am here because this month is a very special month and it means a lot to me and I want to share it with you. This month is Black History Month and here at Northwest we are going to do something very special. I'm going to read some books to you that are some of my favorites. Some of, some of them are about black history and some of them are just fun facts. So let's get started. This week, our two books we're going to read are Woke Baby and Anti-Racist Baby. Now these are great conversation starters, so I encourage you and your families to talk about the content in each of these books after this video. All right, let's get started. Woke Baby by Mahogany L. Brown, illustrated by Theodore Taylor III. Woke Baby. Woke Baby up before the sun smiles, uh, eyes open. Look at your fist, fingers curled into a panther's paw, pointing up, 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 reaching for justice. Look at each toe, wiggling hello to the sky. There is no glass ceiling. There is no one to tell you no. Up, up, up on each knee, bent like half moons, woke baby, you are an awakened dream. Here is your voice, loud and wailing. Here are your hands, reaching for what is yours. Here are your eyes, widening and bright. Woke baby, you stop for no one. You twist to your own beat. You babble songs of freedom. Like a good revolutionary, you never ever sleep. Only rest, only rest until the next dawn. The end. Our next book we're going to read this evening is Anti-Racist Baby by Ibrahim X. Kendi. Illustrations by Ashley Lukaszewski. Anti-Racist Baby is bred, not born. Anti-racist baby is raised to make society transform. Babies are taught to be racist or anti-racist. There's no neutrality. Take these nine steps to make equity a reality. Number one, open your eyes to all skin colors. Anti-racist baby learns all the colors not because race is true. If you claim to be colorblind, you deny what's right in front of you. Number two, use your words to talk about race. No one will see racism if we only stay silent. If we don't name racism, it won't stop being so violent. Number three, Point at policies as the problem, not people. Some people get more while others get less because policies don't always equal, uh, grant equal access. Number four, shout, there's nothing wrong with the people. Even though all races are not treated the same, we are all human, anti-racist baby can proclaim. Number five, celebrate all our differences. Anti-racist baby doesn't see certain groups as better or worse. Anti-racist baby loves a world that is truly 
diverse. Number six, knock down the stack of cultural blocks. Anti-racist baby appreciates how groups speak, dance, and create as they choose. Anti-racist baby welcomes all groups voicing unique views. Number seven, confess when being racist. Nothing disrupts racism more than when we confess the racist ideas that we sometimes express. Eight, grow to be an anti-racist. Anti-racist baby is always learning, changing, and growing. Anti-racist baby stays curious about all people that isn't and isn't all-knowing. Number nine, believe we shall overcome racism. Anti-racist baby is filled with the power to transcend, my friend, and doesn't judge a book by its cover, but reads until the end. Thank you all for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you next time.